Yo, let's get to the medias real quick. All right, as usual, Instagram, um, email, website, pretty much the same thing. Ellie underscore shoe chains for Instagram. Same thing for my email at yahoo.com. Website is ellieshoechains.com. You know, check out my stuff. If you want to contact me, it's best to email. That's really the the only and the most efficient way. And so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Get to these shoes. All right, these are the auto the auto Nike Foam Posit Pros, and um, a little bit about this shoe. While I'm, you know, just twirling it around, you know, a guy came up came to me and said he wants a uh, this custom done, and he got the idea from I guess Call of Duty. There's um, it's like a all black and red, you know, letters like this going down the screen. It's like Call of Duty something, he, and he wanted that, but he wanted it to be green to go along with the green bottom. And you know, green lights at the bottom of it. So that's where he got the idea from. I think I think it actually came out pretty nice. Like these um these subtle detail phone posits, you know, were just like you know, a Asianic words or just flames at the bottom, you know, they, they tend to look nice too. So let me get a closer look at these. I don't know if you can tell, but um I found a I found a way, like a trick to reinforce the paint inside the creases because you know i work a lot on phones so people i get you know people love getting their phones customized and these i've noticed over the years these inside creases it's very hard for the paint to stick it's just it's just so deep and it's just, it, it increases the creasing is you know as weird as that sounds so i found tricks and ways to kind of reinforce these by putting some in there to make the paint stick you know it's been working so but basically, um, you know, letters all around. I don't want to say it's Chinese letters. I don't really know exactly what they are. So I don't, I don't want to say I'm wrong, you know, whatever the case is. But letters all around. Green base. Everything else is pretty neutral. These were the um, gym green, I think, because they have green accents all over the shoe. So it already worked well with it. Same thing with this. I think it's a pretty nice custom. You know? it, it's it's real chilled until you turn the lights on and it gets loud. Right? So it gives you a nice contrast. But let me turn these lights on real quick. Got the on and off switch. Turn that on. Get that a switch for you. So some people ask me how do the lights turn on or stay on? You know, there's a switch. Just to make it easier. And with the green lights at the bottom, I think it really sets it off well. Clearly, you know, they wanted lights all around the shoe. So, uh, you know, get a closer look at them. I don't put lights on these inside edges because it'll make it'll make it too thick. There's not a lot of space in here, and doing that will kind of like remove the sole from from the actual base too much. It's not I don't, I don't like it, so I put it on the outskirts. But and that's it for this shoe. You know, if you can pa pass this video around in my old and my other videos that you might like, I'm trying to get more exposure. It's hard for me to go to these um, sneaker con and sole con events and all that because. I'm a graduate student and I'm working on, and you know, I'm going to school to make shoes. Like I actually started designing shoes and I made a couple pairs already. So it's hard for me to get there to these events to get more exposure. So if you can, you know, if you know somebody or whatever the case is, if you, if you love my work and you know, if you can show support, I'd be, I'd be crazy thankful. So, um, you know, just throwing that out there. Uh, that's it for this.